What's going on YouTube and Game Battles? I got this request almost immediately after this uh, new rule, rule was posted on Game Battles. Now it seems like a lot of people are having issues trying to figure out exactly what they need to do. So I'm going to go over it with you and kind of kind of lead you in the right direction. So basically I'm going to simulate a 1v1. And 1v1s and 4v4s are the same thing. So basically you get your opponent, your opponent in the room. You invite them into a party and you both need to go into spec ops okay um, spec ops means you gotta fully exit the game end the party go back to the main menu and they're doing this to ensure that all JTAG infections are kind of lost now is this the best way to ensure that the cheating is kind of ended I'm I don't really know but game battles is doing something so you gotta give them at least that much credit so um, once you get into into the spec ops lobby right here as you can see you're not actually showing up as in the spec ops so what you have to do to get everybody to kind of uh, show up as in spec ops is uh, go down to the menu a little bit farther and uh, select there and then actually go into a spec ops room so it's a little bit more involved and uh, I think what GB might want to do is lower the time frame between matches. The 15 minute rule might have to get bumped down to 5 minutes because now we're adding an extra 10 minutes to each game by doing this stuff, right? So, as you can see, like, uh, Spec Ops lobbies are not showing up yet. So what you have to do is go to 2 player online and actually go into a room. Um, choose whatever you want to go into. It doesn't matter because uh, you, you have to continue all the way as you're going to progress into a game. And I just wanted to show everybody that uh, Spec Ops doesn't actually show up on your screen as uh, what loot room you're in until you're fully in the room. Um, so as soon as you get in here, you're in the actual online. I'm in the pit and I can invite somebody to play with me. Um, select the name and it actually shows that, yep you're in the spec ops lobby now once you once you're both confirmed and you've taken pictures or you have proof that your opponents are all in the spec ops lobby you can go back to the main menu select multiplayer and start your room up again now one rule they also didn't clarify that I think they need to is um, uh, upon leaving the uh, the spec ops lobby you must immediately return to the uh, the the pregame set up by the hosting team and uh, otherwise you know people could you know have a JTAG lobby set up already and they just go in there click start come back in and they've got everything they need to do again so there's some flaws and I'm sure they'll work things out sooner or later but uh, as you can see we're both in party chat still you gotta stay in party chat from what I understand and this kind of eliminates the S and D issue of other teams in party chat, and hopefully this eliminates all of the JTAG issues. Now, one thing I also wanted to explain: um, if you're doing like big matches, five v fives, six v sixes, stuff like that, uh, basically you should assign one guy who's getting the video proof of the other team, get him in the same party as all the opposing teammates. And uh, that guy can stay in their party while they all go to Spec Ops and select that from the menu. And uh, then switch it over, get one of their guys into your big party, and uh, follow suit, find all the, all the proof you're going to need, and make sure you're taking pictures because if there is any issues with the match that have anything to do with the JTAG, that means wall hacking, aimbot, any stuff like that, uh, admins are just throwing out the tickets at this point because uh, they assume that this is the one-stop cure-all, and I don't think that's I don't think that's right what they're doing. I think they should still review the tickets because people are gonna still find ways around this. Like I said, uh, there's no rule that states that you have to immediately join back to the lobby. Somebody could join their friend's game, click start, and then exit within 30 seconds, and it still looks like they they uh, did this spec ops stuff so you really have to watch always cover your bases and um, make sure you're just doing the best you can to get all the proof 
you know, cameras are cheap. Not everybody has to go and get a cap card for it now. But uh, so I think everybody's got a cell phone. So just learn how to upload cell phone pics to your computer, and I think you should be good to go. But uh, I hope this kind of clarifies a little bit of what you need to do for pregame setups now. And I hope GB kind of listens to me and uh, reduces that 15-minute grace period down to 5 minutes and also adds another rule that says upon leaving the Spec Ops lobby, you must accept the first invite back to uh, the party room or the hosting team's room. So, holiday doc, and uh, I'm out of here.